there is something very special about the first real feeling of spring arriving, when you can feel that shift of energy all around you and in your heart. There are no words to really describe it, I find it is just a feeling that I get with this time of year. I love when I can smell the fragrant scents and smells as I ride along from all the flowers coming into bloom. One of my favourites are the jacaranda trees. I love how their purple colour stands out among the different shades of green from all the other trees around it. Sometimes I'll have a big wave of some fragrant rose or flower as I ride past and I'll stop in my tracks and try and find where the scent came from. These are one of the beauties of spring. There is so much life coming back into the world after the cool months of winter. This spring was a particularly wonderful time for me this year. After finishing my course in marine conservation and restoration this past July, I went on placement out on Heron Island, just off the coast of Gladstone in Northern Australia, which is a tiny island surrounded by a beautiful reef. And they have one of the biggest research stations in the Southern Hemisphere for studying corals and marine life. I was a volunteer for the research station for just over two weeks and my time there was absolutely magical. I snorkeled around the reef almost every day and explored the ocean around the island, seeing the most incredible corals and marine life. It was like a whole other world under the sea. I spent hours outside in the water exploring the reefs, seeing all sorts of fish, sea turtles, reef sharks like the white tip reef shark and black tip reef shark, eagle rays, stingrays, so many different types of marine life. The whole reef was just alive and teeming with life. I unfortunately just missed seeing the mother sea turtles coming onto the beach to nest. They begin nesting during the end of October, beginning of November, and apparently you can see hundreds of turtles on the beaches at night laying their eggs during the peak nesting season. The eggs don't hatch until the end of January, and when they do, you can see hundreds of baby sea turtles making their way to sea. When I go back, I hope to be able to time it with either the nesting or hatching season, to be able to see the beautiful mother turtles coming in to nest, and to see the gorgeous baby turtles making their way out to sea. I met some of the most amazing people while I was there, some of them researchers collecting data on the corals around the island, others were staff working at the hotel or the research station on the island. 
I'm so grateful for my time there. It was the most incredible experience and I hope to go back again someday. On my last evening on the island, there was a mini concert on the beach. Meg Washington did a small performance on guitar by the water, and a few of us from the research station came to watch her perform acoustic. She was amazing, and she got us to sing along with her while we all gathered around to watch. Saying goodbye to all the friends I had made, and even the island itself was really hard. But I promised myself that I would be back again to visit soon. It was such a place of beauty and serenity there. One of the big lessons from the island for me has been to slow down. While being on the island, I developed a routine of doing a few hours of volunteer work in the mornings and dedicated my afternoons to practicing being present and enjoying nature as much as possible. I'd go diving for hours, soaking up the rays of the sun and enjoying the salty sea and its healing energy. Before leaving for the island, I'd gotten myself into a bit of a rut. I'd prioritised my work over my own health and well-being and became a bit of a workaholic. My days became about how much productivity I could fit into the hours of the day and I wouldn't finish working on my computer until around 9pm at night. I'd sacrificed all of my self-care practices in the name of productivity, and so by the time I set off to go to the island, I was exhausted, fatigued, and totally burnt out. I made a promise to myself that when I returned home, it was going to be different. So I looked at my time on the island as a kind of reset, a time to foster habits and practices where self-care wasn't just a nice idea, but a necessity and a regular part of my daily routine. My time on the island was where I started practicing the art of slow living. It was where I chose slow living over the hustle culture. Slow living is a lifestyle which promotes a slower approach to everyday life. It's where people decide to live a more balanced, meaningful life through slowing things down and appreciating both the world around them and what they have. I see it as a way to make more time for self-care. A big project of mine this spring has been creating my own vegetable garden at the back of our house. It's been on my to-do list for over the past year and a half since I moved, but I've only now started making the time to actually make it happen. Kevin, our friendly neighbourhood bush turkey, has been wrecking havoc long before I moved there and made it impossible for me to grow anything as he would come and dig it up as soon as I planted any new seedlings. So. I built a very simple amateur DIY fence to keep him and his friends from digging up the soil and my new plants along with it. So far so good, it's been able to keep the bush turkeys out which has been a huge win. The new plants I'm growing are aloe vera, lavender, a raspberry plant, marigold, calendula and peppermint, but I hope to add to the garden over time. With spring, I feel a deep wonder for the beauty around me and a deep sense of gratitude for being alive. So my commitment over this time and moving forward is to live life a little bit more slowly, to take in the beauty around me, enjoy where I am now, and to enjoy the tasks I'm doing, not be so caught up in the next thing or fitting in so many things into my days. Instead of being as productive as I can, I want to cherish life and be in it, present, living my life how I want to, not how I feel society believes I should. No more hustle, instead I want to take in and savour the moment. I don't mind working really hard as long as I feel a passion for it, but I also want to balance work with time for myself. 
and that is still something I'm learning to find, to find a balance in and what works for me. Thank you so much for watching my video, I hope to see you again soon, take care, goodbye for now.